great to see uh, an inspired crowd. I think we needed that as much as we needed anything. Great, great medicine for uh, for our team. Um, and I said after the San Diego trip, after those six days, I was really sad for our guys. I wasn't mad at them. I wasn't bitter. I, I actually was sad because I didn't think they deserved the hand that they were dealt. But you know what? Um, that's the hand we were dealt. And this was important for us to come back. Uh, so I told them today, I'm really happy for you. Uh, thought one of our best offensive performances of the entire season when I look at the mental part of the game. I, I'm always telling them the mental is 10 to 1 of what the physical is. And I thought they were really smart on offense. I thought they, we had worked for two days on trying to push the pace. We have a new roster now. You know, we have Grabo and Hankerson and Adams, who are veterans in the backcourt, pretty good slashers. We need to push the pace. We need to see if we can get some transition hoops. But we can't do that unless we get some stops. And I thought they were really good at pushing the pace but making smart decisions. When it was there, yeah, they took it. They attacked the rack. When it wasn't, they tried to go to work. Um, and when you have 18 assists on 28 baskets, that's that's a good deal for us uh, in conference play. On the other hand, we gave up 10 threes. Uh, they throw them up there pretty fast. Um, and a couple of them were odd scenarios, offensive rebounds, ball, loose ball, gets tossed, three of them went in. Uh, but we needed it, we got it. And like I said, the only thing that you guys had control over was possession by possession today. What we don't have control over is what happens in the next four or five hours, so who knows, maybe we end up in first place again, but we don't have control over that. So uh, 4.30 tomorrow, we start looking at Nevada and see if we can steal another uh, road game. Like how big was, was Josh tonight? I mean, I know he had some shots early, and I know it was more about just one guy, but he seemed to kind of get the spark going, and how, how big was his performance? I thought he was uh, terrific, and, and again, it was the mental. I talked to him yesterday, last night again, texting, and then this morning and said, look, man, you got to help lead us. And you may, you know, pump your chest and think that's fun. Sometimes it's not so much fun. You're going to have to rely on the mental. You're going to have to make smart decisions for this team. You're going to have to keep us connected when we're not looking good. And I thought he really took it upon himself. Um, and tried to play within what we needed uh, with a new roster. Do you think? Go for it. I was going to say, the attack mentality of getting to the paint today, was that something you addressed with this group? Yes. We, 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 for two days now, you know, we put on, I put on the board uh, the definition of insanity. And I said, guys, anybody know what that definition is? It's trying to do the same thing over and over again and thinking you're going to get different results. And I said, guys, we got a new roster. You know, we, did, we didn't know. Um, it's been five days. And so what can we take advantage of? What can we stay away from? Early attack, attacking the rack, and continuing to be unselfish. You know, that's good for Cook and Herndon. They get about five dunks just by guys attacking the rack and dropping balls off to them. So, yeah, I thought they made an effort to run the floor quicker, to attack earlier when it was there, and I think it paid dividends. Coach, you mentioned Al, you know, getting his first start today. He seemed like he had a very controlled game. What did you think of him? I thought he had a really good second half. I thought he was a little uncertain in, in a few areas. The first half, second half, a couple charges, a couple block shots. Really ran the floor for a big-time full-court pass from Josh for a dunk. Um, I thought we really needed big bodies. I'd love to see him get those 15, 18 pounds back that he needs. But, uh, you know, Mono took its toll. But he, he gave us 25, 26 really good minutes. Or is it almost a sense of relief? I mean, I know you got another game on Tuesday, but after everything you've been through, no matter who you were playing, just, just to get this win however you had to, is, is there almost a sense of relief among the staff or even the guys or anything like that? Um, there's a lot of relief as soon as the game's over every night for me. I don't know about the guys. They seem to just, you know, on to the next play. But for me, uh, yeah, at 63, you would think that I would be more grown up and I could handle this better. I don't handle losing and I don't handle uh, situations as well as I would like. And uh, 
So Mama Shai's got to deal with that. Can you sir? I know. Can you hear an update on Nance? I know he's out of the hospital. Yeah, uh, last night uh, I, I talked to Jeannie, I think it was about 7 o'clock. I said, where are we at? She said uh, the doctor would let him out at the 8, and she said, I've never seen my son eat dinner faster. So he got home last night, and we're hoping, uh, you know, like Al, once the tonsils went down, he really uh, improved quickly. And that's that's about what we got to hope for. But you know, I said this when he had an ACL, and people didn't know who should we schedule, should he play, is he going to come back? We're not going to put anybody in this program in harm's way. Um, I mean, I'd like to see him back tomorrow, but we got to rely on the medical people and uh, and just how Larry feels. Coach, you know, 